something you'd scroll and your phone would fall. What kind of kickstand is this? Real usage. Real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca Hi, my name's Aaron and I'm a reviewer at MobileReviewsA.ca and today we've got the Everyone case by Ballistic. This is a tough case made by Ballistic for the iPhone 5 and we give it a score of 3.25 A's out of 5. It's a pretty decent case but there's some really odd things that really knock it down a few notches. Ballistic makes about four to five different cases for the iPhone 5 and the every one is about third from the top, no second from the top. There's one case that's higher than this, I think it's the Hardcore Max or something, that is tougher than the every one. Now first thing you'll notice is that the every one case is actually fairly slim for a rugged case and this is one of its better features I guess. The design of it seems to work fairly well. The installation is actually great because you just they have these things called active latches and they say you know it's a patent pending thing by Ballistic and to install the case you literally just pop it in and yes there is a piece that moves around which seems weird to me why there would be such a movable piece inside a tough case but to install it you pop your phone in and you use the active latches to secure the screen protector to the device. It's a rugged case, but on the inside, despite the fact that it's still very slim, there's a lot of space between the phone and the case, and they've got inside the case kind of these little bunkers that protrude into the case, which kind of provides very snug fit for your device. Now, the build quality, the actual materials, I'm a little concerned about in the way that it feels very, very cheap. It feels like it's things were kind of rushed. Because at the top here you've got this notch for the belt holster and it seems the plastic seems to be scratching off and I've only been using this case for a couple of weeks so the build quality seems a little lower in terms of protection this case will generally protect your phone out of the half dozen times that I've purposely dropped it nothing really came of it but the one time that we did drop it and film it, it actually failed. So we're going to call this a semi-failed case for uh, drop protection. In terms of env environmental protection or elemental protection, there's this giant hole at the top here. And in <laughs> when it's raining and you're outside using this, the water will actually get between the screen protector and your device through this little hole at the top. So that's not that great. Uh, in terms of functionality, the screen provides a little bit of glare. It provides a lot of... It doesn't numb the uh, sensitivity of your device, which is nice. And the edges don't protrude too far out that you can't actually use Q and P and whatnot. If you drop it enough times, there because this thing is just kind of latched on, and they say, you know, patent pending active latches, stuff can still get, when you drop it hard enough or it gets tossed around, stuff can still get between the screen protector and the device and I've actually got a scratch on my iPhone that wasn't there before but after I've been tossing the device around with this case a piece of dust actually got between the screen protector and the screen and I've got now a pretty sizable scratch on it so that's that's a little annoying now the accessories that come with this oh there was that piece I forgot to install that I should install the one thing that I will say about this case is that it's the accessories as, you know, on paper, I think they sound good. you got a belt clip and you've got a kickstand for your phone. And this is like a feature that they really push. Now, I'm not quite sure who actually uses their device like this. I have not seen anybody sitting in a coffee shop reading whatever on their device, watching whatever is on the phone with this kickstand. It seems weak sauce, let's say. But the thing is, like, if you were trying to, like, scroll through something, you'd scroll and your phone would fall. But hey, it's okay. You've got a rugged case. What kind of kickstand is this? Right? Oh, you can do it this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, this is cool. Yeah. Oh, I want to click on this. Really? Ballistic? This is a feature? Why? So, you've got this case with this kickstand, and then you've got this belt clip for it. Now, it seems like a good idea, really. Hey, yeah, I could totally clip this onto my belt. 
So I work in an office sometimes, and you know you can't really clip this device onto your belt like this. It has to go sideways. And so when you're clipping it, taking it out is easy because you just lift up the tab and then your phone pops out. But when you try to put it back in, one of the things is it has to be it has to be perfectly aligned, right? Even now, there we go. We got it in. Coming out, it's easy. Putting it back in sideways is actually really difficult, especially when it's on the side of your belt. And so, you know, you get a phone call, you're like, oh yeah, I'm totally awesome. You take your phone out of your belt clip, you answer it, and you're trying to put it back, and now you look like a fool because you're just trying to do this while walking down the street. Now, another thing about this belt holster is that Ballistic allows you to access all the ports. Yay, ports, we can get to them. You can plug your headphones in, no problem, but you can't actually plug your headphones in while this thing is in its belt holster. You just can't get to it. So I like to listen to my music while I'm walking about, um, and I can't plug my headphones and use the belt holster at the same time. So as you can see, I'm a little frustrated with it, and that's one of the reasons why this case scored a little lower. It's a half-decent case. It's a tolerable case. So, we give this case 3.25 A's out of 5, and again, there's a few really odd things that knock it down a notch. It's a very tolerable case in most situations, other than the kickstand and the belt clip. If you want to know a detailed description of our scoring, our score is actually broken down into nine different scores for rugged cases. So go to our website and check out the detailed review if that's interesting to you. You can find out more about what actually scored very well and what didn't score very well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or send us a tweet or find us on Google Plus as well as on Facebook. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, share it, give it a thumbs up, Please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be spitting out one of these videos probably once a week, maybe twice a week. We've got some cases coming for the iPad Mini as well as the other ballistic cases. So thanks for watching and keep your iPhone safe. With this, maybe, if you can't find anything better, like the Life Proof Free.